Hey America, Chef John, get it gourmet. We are making a Alfredo sauce. We're making two sauces actually. I decided I'm gonna pull the stops out for tonight's me meal just because I haven't I bought some really nice stuff, alright? One we're gonna have a roasted red pepper, coolie, alright, right here. Whoa. Maybe a little closer. Olive oil, garlic, just starting to sweat, and a little bit of butter. Add our wine. I got my fan on. It was. It was. I had things really flaming up on my other burners, and I kept setting the alarm off. Okay, we're going to reduce that to all sec, which means we're going to reduce it to almost dry, to to complete set or to sec is to have it dry. Actually, all the alcohol gone. If I remember my terminology correctly. And I was talking about this on, um, I was actually watching the Food Network and this guy was talking about Italian um, making bechamel, right? A lot of people start with milk and he was talking about having 3% milk, whole milk, and they're like, can't you use 1% milk, chef? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what am I going to use? I ain't gonna use no 1% milk. You gotta be kidding me. I don't even have whole milk in the house. I mean, you just watch me, watch me, love me, half and half. Just to start it. Just to start it. And then just straight heavy cream. Look, that heavy cream is so thick. Look at it. Can you see it? Can you see it? It formed a puddle. A thick puddle on top of that. Oh yes, that's what's up. And turn this off. Yeah, I want just yeah. That's the way I like to make a real Italian uh, cream sauce. Straight cream reduction, America. Straight cream. Just a little bit of milk. Or, um, I, I'd actually use milk in the kitchen, um, whole milk. I use heavy, uh, half and half at home because I drink coffee, I make, uh, I make uh, uh, soups, I make, I make everything out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a little powder in there, I'm going to cheat. Because I, I can. Because I didn't feel like chopping more garlic, really. But I got nice fresh garlic in there already. That's just gonna kick up the flavor of garlic. I like garlic. All right, and okay, so that was it. Basically, did I put the cornstarch slurry in? Not yet. A little bit more cheese. A little bit more wine. Here's our cornstarch slurry. This is my most effective little cup it was a Greek yogurt that exploded in my face. It was so gross. Oh, God. Man. Fingers that don't work. Dude, my whole left arm stopped working for like three days, man. I'm like, really? Stuff like that would make it crazy. Ha! 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 white pepper. Why? Because it's a white sauce. Don't fall face first into whatever you're doing. And brushes are free. With my salt. There it is. 
All right, you can see it's already coming to a simmer. It's on very, very light. So yeah, if you take just heavy cream and reduce it by half, you get a cream sauce. You get a very, very thick cream sauce. All right. And that's just the cheese melting the rest of the way. We're going to leave it just like that. Set that over there. Take this. Put it on there. Mmm, look cheesy. Cheesy. That's my niece right there, Erin. I ain't seen all my fam for so long. I'll wait for this election to be over in about a year or two into the presidency if whoever wins. We already know what's going to happen. You can't disrespect ladies. Long ago, I, 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 look, man, from a guy who's gone through programs where, um, I, I, you know, I had a loved one and worst pain in the world 20 years ago was getting in fights with her and the, the damage it did to our relationship and our life and just everything, man. And so there I am, man. I spent a long time being a better man and giving back to ladies in need and being there for them to talk to and let them know that the reason why a man puts his hands on a woman is because he's weak because he's weak because he's got uh, his own issues he can't handle it just wanted to say that to your face so i gone through that and so I see when somebody, you know, we had this whole thing where everybody wanted to be a pimpin' and a gangster and play cards and get strippers and go to strip clubs and all that shit. That disrespects women, man. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll go into a gentleman's club, especially if the people ask me or some of the young ladies ask me because I treat them like ladies. Thing is... I don't be going in there to be looking at them like that. I just don't. I, I'll look right into a lady's eyes. I'll sit there and have a, have a beer with her. You know, she wants to sit down and talk to me. I ain't paying no money for no lady to sit down and talk to me. <laughs> that's not happening. That's just that's, that's defeating the whole concept of the word lady. <laughs> the concept of lady. <laughs> it means... All right, that's our. That's it. That's all I gotta do. I put a little salt in there. That's it. That's done. All right, and I bought this. It costs six dollars for this. I've had good pastas before from Italy. Actually, it was in the alley that I found some of the best stuff when I was back in college. A college student threw away this case of this pasta. And this pasta was just off the hook. Straight from Italy, man. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, my pasta's not even made, so. My sausages. See, I said I'm going to put fresh herbs on One, two, just some twisted up noodles. <laughs> just some twisted up noodles, man. Just give me that twisted up noodle. I'll make enough for a double batch. Yep. And let's come back to our coolie. Look at our coolie. Is that cool or what? It's a, the coolies broke the cool. That's our type of pasta right there. The Aperonzo. Yeah, I grew up. 
I dated this Italian woman when I was back in Baltimore. All I gotta say, man, Italian women. She had this sister and her best friend. The three of them, man, they could rock the just, just rock it. <laughs> in the club, rock it. Hanging out at home, rock it. At the barbecue, rock it. At the side of the pool, rock it. <laughs> Heather, hi girl. I never forgot you. Dang, and she was hooked up. She made all the brothers cry, she was so hooked up. <laughs> she had just, she had Italian woman coming off of her like pow and bam. I'm like, did you, did you get, well you what, are your pot sister to have a body like that? Are your pot sister? Because when it's an hourglass, you know. All right, we're going to come back a little bit. I much love America. Isn't that cool? All right.